Good evening, America. Welcome back to another edition of Face to Face. I'm your host, Dick Matthews. Earlier this week, I had the opportunity, the privilege, of chatting with the NBA's number one overall draft pick, Yao Kanadu, and his dad. I just want to start off by saying thank you for your time, Mr. Kanadu, and congrats on being drafted number one. That's an amazing accomplishment. Thank, thank you. You. <laughs> you are too kind. <laughs> You didn't mention your dad would be here. I didn't know he was going to be here either. Alrighty then, I'm just going to get to the questions. So, Mr. Kanadu, what kind of obstacles did you face early on that led to today's success? I mean, of course, early on it was tough. I was just trying to work hard and just- The obstacles were obstacling. <laughs> I mean, it was difficult to, to, to teach him how to, how to do that, that bounce, that, the bouncing. The bu Dad, pause. Why are you talking about bouncing balls? That, that's I'm weird. Sure. You don't say that way. Don't talk about balls. I'm making you gay. Don't How do that. Don't I'm bouncing the ball. That's weird. Nonsense. What do you know about basketball? At this point, I was just puzzled. Am I dealing with a superstar, self-made millionaire athlete with a piggybacking father? Or are we dealing with a son who just doesn't appreciate the man who made him? <laughs> Let me find out. I tell all of my children, be whatever I tell you to be. Whatever I want to be, whatever be whatever you you want to be, <laughs> and and just do it. <laughs> yes, I, I tell them all the same thing, the same thing. When I told my dad, my African dad, that I wanted to be an NBA player, one of the most memorable slaps of my entire life. When he first came out, the woman, I was holding him like this. I didn't see a basketball player. I saw an intellectual. So you're saying his head was big? Like this. Yes. When I was holding him like this, I said, wow, this is a professor. This is a doctor. This is somebody with a lot of potential in this forehead. And all you saw was the Ivy League, not the basketball league. That's it. Okay, here's the real truth, okay? I was the one putting up all those shots. I was the one waking up at 4.30, 5.30. I was the one doing all those nasty ass workouts. Me, not him. Me. He doesn't even know anything about basketball. You wanna know what he would've done if I never made it? You wanna know what he would've done? Here's what he would've done. He would've been doing the same interview, but this is, this is what he would've done. You, you, I told you so. I, I told you, read your books, read your books. No, he said, daddy, I want to play basketball. I want to basketball my books. Now I can speak you. better English than that. I will not say like that. I will not say like that. I can speak better English than that. Slow down, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I have an important question to ask. I have an important question. Yao, I'm gonna read you a number, okay? Four years. And 43 million. Hey, <laughs> what's her number? Yeah. <laughs> what's her number? What are you gonna do with your first million? That's a really, really tough question to answer. But yeah, I know, I'm not really sure. Bless the person that gave you life. <laughs> Dash me my 250K, come on now. <laughs> I mean, if we're going by that definition, then I would just give the money to my mom. Aha, uh -huh, I knew my son had a sense. But you also didn't think I was gonna make it. Oh, yo. How can you say that? Did I go through 13 hours of labor to create a basketball failure? 19 hours of labor. 19. I, wa I wanted to cry as I was pushing your coconut head. 19 hours of labor. Then, the ultimate chess move. Wait, Mr. Dick. Yes. You said Yao is going to sign the contract. Yes. Meaning he hasn't signed the contract yet. I don't know. Have you signed it? Like, not yet. Yo, go and tell your coach. If they don't honor your mother and your father in your contract, I will not let you play. What do you mean you won't let me play? I'm in the NBA. Don't talk back. Do not talk back on television. Ma. You see what you caused? That's so crazy. That, that is so crazy to me. After our interview, Yao Kanadu actually became the first NBA player to sign off the entirety of his contract money to his parents. What a humble, humble young man. This is Face to Face, and I'm your host, Dick Matthews. See you again, America.